hello yeah, welcome to this video uh, this is the seventh video that I will be recording for the purpose of the upcoming free class the last video was how I show I illustrated how to uh, purchase or credit you understand do only just touch on a particular if not I have a video for inventory management where I exhaustively discuss on all these features here but you know this is a free class I just want to just show us little little points on this so you actually know that okay uh, this is how QuickBook work you understand and I'll show you how it affects the account so this time around we've purchased using cash and using a uh, uh, credit you understand so now we want to now sell to a customer so now we are done with this vendor though the one i receive with bill that, that is i bought on credit i can actually go ahead and pay so but i don't want to give that here now i want to this video now is for uh selling we want to sell to a customer so now is either you are selling on credit or in cash so i'm going to do the same <laughs> option here so let's sell on credit first i click on create invoice that's what invoice is all about quickbook recognize invoice as selling on credit so i want to sell on credit to the customer i created i think it should be abdurrahman yakubu aka yaksi uh, let me check okay this is the invoice this is this environment you can do many things you can delete save new create a copy memorize marker spending all those are other features for a different purpose okay click on this drop down this is the customer we click here to select the customer you can see we have yaksin judge enterprise is my old customer i only created this yaksin uh, recently for this video so i'm going to make use of yaksin then we also see these options now you can see my invoice now is 005 i don't have to impute it so automatically it incremented itself now you can see the bill too this information you are seeing here is the information i provided while creating yaksin you can see this 10 percent discount also you know i created a price level and i told you what price level is if you want to know about that check on uh, the video i created for this customer the second video is show you how i inserted this 10 percent as a price level for abdraman so even though i'm bringing a an item at a standard price it will automatically deduct a 10 percent discount for yaksin now you can see build to this and ship to and i told you if i have additional if Abdurrahman has a different branch, maybe two or three, I can also add new, then select that branch from here. So I'm billing to him, but this is the branch I'm shipping it to. Shipping, of course, doesn't have to do with uh, C. Might be delivery, might be carriage, and stuff like that. Okay, you can see the 2% 10 net 30. I actually selected this while creating Abdurrahman uh, Yaksin. So you can see that all these options will automatically fill itself you understand now the shipping date may not be today that should, it may not be that you are shipping this uh item today maybe that you are receiving the bill today but you are not shipping it today so this is the day you are receiving the bill then the ship date can be different from the uh, bill date you understand so the day you are shipping it or you are taking it to the uh abdraman uh, accent you select the date here okay uh let's select the item this is the item here the item we are dealing with is a diamond so let's select diamond automatically now you see we have 2250 this is the uh, value i inserted i imputed when creating for the sales information remember i told you the difference between that purchase information and sales information when i was creating an item i think that should be the first video i created on quick on these videos i've been creating now you can see the class automatically comes up the non taxable because I selected that too okay now uh, everything is reflecting here now since it is not taxable uh, you can see everything other options they are just there you can include some notes I mean some uh, customer message here I can also add new if you don't have anything that you want to make use of here <clears throat> then a memo to just like a description kind of way just to like, create a note on this transaction a particular note that i think you need okay uh that is that 
everything now is okay you can see the value is 2 to 50 now the quantity that you are saying might be 2 so let's just use 2 this 2 to 50 amount will change now as a 4 5 quickbook will do that for you so we are done with this transaction we can now save and close let's just say we sold these goods on credits okay save and close now we check our report to see how it affects the report remember uh, let's go back and I want to see the amount of this transaction I can click on that back button there okay now we are here in the invoice window so you click here I want to see the amount we actually spent okay four five okay you can exit that from here four five okay now let's go back to our report to see how this transaction reflects so let's go to now we've sold so we can actually see it in our profit or loss and balance sheet because we just sold now so let's let me run my favorite report and click on profit and loss standard but now notice we saw this in on credit you understand so we have report basis as accrual or cash you can work you can click the cash to see cash basis report you can click on accrual to see accrual basis eh? report now this is 51 600 I say okay ah where is the the one I just make use of now let's go we we'll click on this double click on this to see the transaction for that the amount for that now, you can see now the four five is here hmm? so this is four five we sold on um, credit to yaxin which is very very correct okay let's go back to the open windows let's go to balance sheet now we we'll go to well i already opened balance sheet before so we only have to refresh it to update itself now your petty cash will not increase because you do not sell with cash, you only sell on credit. So, if you sell on credit, it should affect your account receivable and inventory. It's going to adjust itself. So, let's double click on this to see the value. Now, you can see we have 4545, which is very, very correct. Let's go back to balance sheets. Let's click on inventory assets. Now, I told you QuickBook uses average cost to value its inventory. <clears throat> that is the reason why I've seen some points 43 and the likes, you understand? But not a worry at all. You can actually uh, do inventory adjustments using FIFO or LIFO or whichever method you think you want to use to value your uh, stock or your inventory. But that is a different class from this free class. I actually have a video on how to do that. It will adjust itself automatically. It will create a good record for you. Like we are going to adjust the valuation and to reflect how we want it to. You understand? So, but for this, I'm just going to show you that this is why it's showing that point. So, this is the transaction invoice you saw to Abdraman and on credit. And that transaction is uh, complete. So that should be all for this video, seven videos. So let's go to the next eight video, remaining three down the line. Bye.